First Warning Weather with meteorologist Andrew Grotsky. Were you a fan of Winnie the Pooh growing up, Andrew? I am a fan, yeah. I watched, watched the show a little bit. Yeah. My yeah. favorite was Tigger because he always just jumped around. He reminded me a lot of myself. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. And um, yeah, it's a cool event going on at the you know, at the expo today, the flower event, and it uh, gets you thinking about spring, and sure that's, it it's definitely something you look forward to on a day like today, especially if you're kind of getting tired of the snow. We have plenty of that out there this morning. Live cam right now in Plattsburgh. You can see snow-covered ground, and snow still falling pretty light and steadily at this time. That's going to be the case, taking you throughout the morning and into the midday hours as well. Notice that temperature right around 30 degrees, but that visibility is down to about a mile. That's a common trend trend really all across the region right now as we have those flakes flying across the north country. That's where we're in the upper 20s for Saranac Lake and Messina into the low 30s for Plattsburgh and Burlington and down the road to the upper valley. That's where we're in the low 30s right now. The visibility is down in many places really all across the north country under a mile right around a mile into Plattsburgh and then one to two miles is the case for the upper valley and really into southern Vermont as well. Looking at the storm tracker we have lots of appear uh, pockets of moderate to heavy snow, especially across St. Lawrence and Franklin County, running along Route 11 from Potsdam towards Malone. That's been a spot where we've seen that steady snow really all throughout this morning. Heading down into Essex County, New York, around E Town and Mariah. Lots of flakes are flying there at a good clip. Southern Vermont snow is a little on the lighter side, and even into Bennington and uh, Rutland counties, that's where we're seeing some pink shades here with some sleep pellets mixing in. Into the Northeast Kingdom, still some steady light to moderate snow all across that part of the region and into the Champlain Valley seeing some moderate snow now looks to be filling in and our first warning meteorologist Ben Frechette is in the weather lab. Ben have you noticed that snow picking up just a little bit? Yeah I would say in the past uh, 15 minutes Andrew we've seen a little more snow here where uh, we've made our way from downtown Burlington to the top of the Winooski Circle and we've parked uh, right in front of Scout Coffee here. There's also the Vinyl Record Store, just a couple stores down as well. Big snow piles, and the crews have done a great job plowing the Winooski Circle early this morning. This is looking down from the top towards that park, and we'll tilt the camera down and off to the uh, to the right here, and you can see roads are mainly wet. So should be a, a nice drive around the circle this morning. But I tell you what, really depends on where you are. In the Burlington area, we actually took Pearl Street up, and I would say the first time we really struggled this morning was when we were going up Pearl Street. Hadn't been uh, plowed too much, and even our weather lab with uh, its, its really good snow tires and its uh, heavy load did struggle to get up the uh, road a little bit. Tire camera showing mostly wet conditions as well, and uh, I do have a traffic alert to tell you about. We just heard that I-89 near the Waterbury Bolton area Southbound closed due to one lane or closed to one lane due to a uh, commercial vehicle accident. So if you're heading in that direction, just a uh, heads up for you this morning. So we'll continue driving around here, Andrew. But in the meantime, how much additional snow can we expect? Of the snow has fallen, but we could still see a couple inches, especially across the north country where it's snowing pretty steadily. Much of Vermont seeing a couple more inches as well. So we still have a few more hours to go with this. And a lot of those main roads and especially the side roads are going to be slick heading throughout the morning into midday. That's where we have those alert icons up. Heading into this afternoon, still some pockets of lighter snow, but I think the roads tend to improve, turning slushy or wet in most cases. That'll be more widespread of a case than it is now. So by mid morning, still those pockets of moderate to heavy snow, but by about lunchtime here, you can see some lighter snow throughout the region, and that'll be the case throughout this afternoon. And then by the evening, just a few flurries left, but nothing of too much significance. All this tends to wrap up mostly dry and mostly cloudy for your Sunday, but a few mountain flurries possible, especially for the peaks of the Adirondacks and Greens, but nothing of too much significance. The bulk of the action is moving through the next couple hours. As you look at that snowfall map, still a couple inches look widespread across the region. Maybe just a, another inch or two though from Burlington down Route 7 to Rutland.
and some of the higher elevations could see about four inches more. Still have that briefly strong wind threat for Rutland and Bennington counties over the next hour or two. Some gusts could be over 40, even 50 miles per hour, so that's something we're watching. Tonight, that snow tends to wrap up with temperatures in the 20s, and as we look towards Sunday, that's when we dry out with just a few mountain flurries. Monday looks mostly sunny near 40, and then some snow showers possible Tuesday and Wednesday. Let's send it to sports.